why do I get up in the morning? This is my apartment. Uh, it's a, it's a well-sized one. It has a, a ton of great stuff in it. Um, it's got a fridge, an oven, a couch, a TV, an Xbox, everything a guy needs. Um, it's got a cat. Uh, but it's got everything but the answer to a simple question. It's a simple question with a surprisingly simple answer. Uh, many people up, get up to see their, their loved ones. Um, some go to uh, get up to go find their newest adventure. Uh, some people wake up because they have a sweet car. So what is it that makes me, what is it that makes me, Mr. Kinchy, get up? About midway through the year this year, uh, I began applying for other jobs. And uh, I was pretty confident I was burned out. I hated the grind. Um, I, I couldn't deal with it. Uh, I, I had trouble getting up. I gained a ton of weight. Uh, and I was stressed beyond any uh, anything I've ever done in this job. And I hated it. Um, I hated getting torn down. Uh, I hated getting getting yelled at, getting uh, told I was failing. And it took something really powerful to change that. And it was you guys. Um, I was picked up. I wasn't picked up by my parents, I wasn't picked up by a video game, I wasn't picked up by a movie, I wasn't picked up by my friends or colleagues, I wasn't picked up by anybody else, um, I was picked up by you guys. Jordan Link was the quiet girl uh, who would calmly go about any job I asked her to do um, when she first transferred into my class. She didn't complain and and somehow she was like the quiet girl who would sit in the back and she always showed up, always. It didn't matter how dumb the event was, it didn't matter like how there were, it might have been me and somebody else, but that somebody else was always Jordan. Um, she's been an absolutely incredible director. Uh, she has successfully gone to all of our events and she's been uh, the biggest cheerleader we've had um, in our program. Jordan picked me up. Uh, Cameron Klein is by far the most talented all-around student in my entire program. And I still believe he's the reason that we won, uh, that we won our STN Broadcasting Award last year. For ingenuity, dedication, an unusual obsession with Jerry Seinfeld, uh, and his leadership while being our media club president. Cameron. Will never be replaced. And cameras pick me up. Josh Velasquez. Oh man, um, Josh Velasquez has been a force this year. Uh, when I had trouble getting our announcements done this year from like 18 different reasons, uh, Josh. And when I, like, right in that moment when I was burning out, right in that moment where I hit that apply job button uh, for a position. Uh, Josh begged me to help. Um, I edited the announcements for maybe two or three weeks at the end of first semester um, after taking them from another, from another student. And Josh stepped in. And not only did he step in, he stepped in and blew everybody away. Um, he, ever since those three weeks, um, he's edited everything we put out, all of it. Uh, he didn't get a grade, he didn't get any money, he didn't get food, um, he didn't get any compensation, he just did it. Um, Josh has picked me up. Caleb Solano has worked every assembly for me um, over the past two years. Uh, he's done, he's gone above and beyond. Kids been in my lunchroom or in my room during lunch uh, every day. 
uh, and every time he comes in, I always, and I feel bad about this, but I always have something else for him to do. Whether it's depositing a check, burning a DVD, getting something figured out with the bookstore, figuring out something for an event we have. Um, Caleb gets it done. Uh, heck, he's even TA'd for me. Uh, he actually TA'd for me twice, which he can't do. Um, he has been one of the most dedicated members of my program and somebody that has with many of these kids. Um, I can't replace any of you. And I certainly can't replace Caleb. Uh, Caleb, you've picked me up. Oh boy, Ashley. Um, Ashley Van Horn, uh, she, she was in my one-two class. She was in my first one-two class. Um, and she was a junior coming in, and so kind of knew there was going to be uh, a short, a shortened period. Um, but man, you talk about a overachiever. Uh, she embodies what we hope to get from our program because she's actually heading to the Walter Cronkite School of Journalism uh, to hopefully be, be an anchor, uh, which man, she has the talent for. Uh, she anchored pretty much our entire first semester uh, uh, across from uh, Mitchell and Josh and pretty much anybody um, we could throw in. Um, the Ashley and Josh show, uh, I'm sure you heard you watched that um, during the uh, announcements montage. Um, and she, came, she comes in during lunch and basically won't leave. Um, but it's great because... Uh, I swear, something always goes wrong. Like, it's always like, oh no, we have to do the announcements now. Or, I don't know, oh gosh, something's happening. And so she runs, she goes like, can she? Got it, don't worry. And goes and does it. And that's kind of, that's the life skill that you need in life, is being able to go and get, get it done. And she does. She does it perfectly every time. So, Ashley has picked me up. And then, oh man, Brian, Brian. Um, Brian, Brian, Brian had one job last year and that was pretty much teleprompter because he, he decided that he wanted to dodge it. And he, well, maybe not decided, I just, he kind of was just like, oh, I guess I'll just be teleprompter and be recorded. Um, he did a great job of anything. Um, you talk about a talented kid. I mean, he does improv. He, um, he went to Skills State this year and did a heck of a job. Went to Skills Regionals and uh, got us a lovely medal, which was really cool. And he, uh, he's a great kid. Um, he ask, I mean, it's, he's reliable. He's dedicated. He's honest. He's funny. Um, he's what you want to come out of this program. And uh, Brian has picked me up. And then there's AJ. Teachers, as a as a taboo, aren't we're not supposed to talk about our struggles. Uh, our struggles are the students that really get at us, um, the students that that we can't reach. It's not the students that annoy us. I mean, everybody knows the people that annoy you, but, but it's the students we can't reach. And I couldn't reach AJ last year. Um, we had some real problems. Uh, I couldn't, we didn't know where the line was. I couldn't figure out how to deal. I didn't know how to deal with that situation. Um, and after a certain point, um, AJ and his parents did something I've never seen ever in my 28 years of being alive. And that's the biggest 180 of any person um, ever. Uh, near the end of last year, he was the most, he, I mean, he just turned to the most respectful, dedicated, uh, hardworking, kind, um, supportive kid I've ever seen, ever. Um, when I needed something done, he was asking me to do it, or he had already done it. Um, he single-handedly kept the equipment room from being a complete mess this year. 
Um, he volunteered for pretty much any and all projects I've needed done. Um, he's actually about to be an Eagle Scout, which is kind of cool. Um, and he, uh, he, he will be missed. I'll miss you. I'll miss you, AJ. Um, he's the first kid I ever met in this program. First days in August when I was actually getting my stuff and trying to uh, take stuff out and uh, kind of try to get myself situated in the program. AJ showed up on the first day with a resume ready to go. Um, and I'll never forget that. AJ. All of you guys are, uh, you're my family. You're what I got. So thank you from the bottom of my heart.